everyone. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial about uh, another way you could do doilies. Um, these are I got from Officeworks and First Creations, so they're like um, you know little for little kids, but they actually are quite uh, cheap and quite easy to use because they're water watercolor. So they're crayons and oil pastels that also watercolors. So three different ways to use them. And I am wanting to make um, sunset colours today, so I thought I would have a bit of a go um, with uh, some ideas that I had for the colours of sunsets. I thought there was two then. <laughs> So yes, yeah, a bit of a messy one because we're going to get some water and water them down, wash them down. <coughs> Just have a play. I mean, obviously this is limited. This palette is limited to particular colours. Um, I think if you've got, there are some other water soluble um, oil crayons and pastels uh, that are much more expensive. Uh, I've got some somewhere but I, I couldn't find them today. But I think they might be out at my other studio. So obviously this, um, you know, this is something that kids could be also doing in the uh, holidays or in <laughs> lockdown at home. Parents are going, what on earth can we do with our kids? Um, <clears throat> bit of fun, but also um, as much as I love tea stained doilies, um, it's nice to actually just come up with a a new idea. It'll probably look a bit bright now, but once they're watered down, it's going to change. Um, I think, uh, like sometimes sunsets or sunrises, either one. Um, bit purpley. So yeah, all the yellows, oranges, red, fiery colours. even put a little bit of purple really it's a bit dark isn't it not too bad though maybe some days depends depends on your outlook maybe that is a part of it a deep purple Possibly a little bit of blue just to bring a bit of the sky in. So that'll probably make. Oh no, I don't think I'll do too much of that because that makes brown and that makes green. And that's not what we were looking for. Right, that's it. I'm not doing any more of that. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to start with one. Start to play, brushing around the ink, uh, the pastel. It's a bit like an ink.
and obviously we're making them wet so there is going to be that potential to buckle up um, I'm gonna get a bit of toweling pour it that might be a bit better so I'm already liking that as an idea for a sunset sunset sunrise whatever whatever is I'm gonna move that out the way I think I'll just use one that gets a bit wet and the water over Loving those colours. Get rid of that blue out of there. And last one, and uh, I will probably fast forward for the uh, and take the sound off for the uh, hair dryer. But I'm going to test one first because sometimes the hair dryer might be too. It might need the time to dry. Like the hair dryer might be a bit uh, intense or something. Let's see. In a bear, big mess. <laughs> That's what art's about, isn't it? Here we go. Okay. Okay, so this is my version of a sunset and um, another idea that you can use doilies for, a bit of colour. There we go. And this was the First Creations Easy Grip 3-in-1 Crayons, which um, is Australian. They're the Australian children's version. And I thought they came up quite well. Okay, have fun. Have a play.